Welcome sa signa9.com. Uh, in this video, tutuloy natin ating series on comparing fractions. No? Uh, sa previous video, ang pinag-aaralan natin ay uh, uh, paano ba mag-compare ng fractions using the cross-multiplication method. No? Dito, ang pag-aaral naman natin is uh, to convert fractions into similar fractions para magpareho yung kanilang denominator. No? So, kung maalala nyo, kung nag add ng fraction, 1 half plus 1 third, for example, kinukuha natin yung denominator no ng uh, dalawang fractions na yan kinukuha natin yung LCM no ng 2 and 3 and then magiging 6 yan di ba tapos yung dalawang fractions na yan kinoconvert natin siya into similar fractions ang similar fractions meaning uh, yung fractions na pareho yung uh, denominator no so ang 1 half magiging 6 divided by 2 3 times 1 3 6 no Tapos ang one-third maging, uh, uh, ano yun? Maging 2 over 6, di ba? So, magiging uh, 6 divided by 3, 2 times 1 is 2. So, kaya pag nag-add tayo, 3, 6 plus 2, 6 magiging 5, 6. So, actually, pag nag-add tayo ng fractions, ang ginagawa natin is we convert these, these uh, we convert the similar fractions to similar fractions para maging pareho sila ng denominator, no? Tsaka tayo nag -add. Well, similar concept dito. Hindi, lang, hindi nga lang natin siya i-add, no? I-compare natin siya. So, for example, ang 4 5 tsaka 3 6, ano ang LCM ng LCM of 5 and 7? They are both prime numbers, no? Pag kinuha nyo yung uh, LCM ng dalawang prime numbers, ang pinakamadali dyan is i-multiply nyo lang sila. Pag prime numbers. So, here, ang LCM ay uh, 35, meaning, ang 4 fifth gagawin natin siyang fraction na 35 yung kanyang denominator. So, 35 divided by 5 is 7, times 4 is 28. Tapos, yung 6 seventh, 35 din dapat yung ating uh, denominator. No? So, 35 uh, divided by 7, is 5 times 6 magiging 30. No? So, ano yung mas malaki? 30 over 35 or 28 over 35? Dito makapag-compare na tayo kasi pareho na yung kanilang denominator, di ba? So, mas malaki is 30 over 35 which is 6 over 7. Mas malaki to. Ibig sabihin, 4 fifth is less than 6 over 7 kasi mas malaki nga ito. No? Okay, so basically, that's the idea. Okay, so sa second number, we have 3 8 tsaka 2 3rd. So, gagawin natin is we get the LCM of, of 8 and 3. So, paano yan? Um, ang gagawin naman natin ngayon is listing. No? Uh, dito, pag dalawang prime numbers, minimultiply natin. Dito, pwede tayo mag-list. So, we have 8, we have 16, we have 24, we have 32. And then we have 3, we have uh, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. So, ano ang least common nila? Yung unang nag-appear na pareho. Common multiple na pinakamaliit or least common multiple. Meaning, 24 yung ating least common multiple. No? So, gagawin natin magiging 2 thirds, 3 eighths, saka 2 thirds, kung saan pareho sila ay 2 thirds, 24 ang kanilang uh, denominator. Gagawin natin silang fraction sa 24 yung kanilang denominator. No? So, 24 divided by 8 is 3 times 3 is 9. And then, 24 divided by 3 is 8 times 2 is 16. Ang 16 at saka 9 ang mas malaki. Pareho na silang denominator, no? similar na sila. So 16 over 24 ang mas malaki, meaning 2 third is greater than 3 eight, no? So, mas malaki yung 2 thirds sa 3 eight. Or, one way of uh, looking at it is that 3 eight is less than 2 thirds. Now, paano pa ganito? Um, merong... Uh, whole number, no? So, pag mixed fraction, ang unang-unang yung titignan is the whole numbers. Kung sinong 
uh, fraction o sino mix fraction na mis ang mas may mas malaking full number siya na yung malaki automatic yan kasi kuwari itong 1 fourth na to kahit tanggalin mo pa itong 1 fourth na to ang 3 mas malaki pa rin siya dun sa 2 and 1 half no? so automatic pag malaki yung kanyang number automatic siya na yung malaki no? kung mas malaki yung kanyang whole number sorry okay so dito pareho yung uh, ating uh, whole numbers so ibig sabihin magkukompare pa rin tayo ng fraction so that's 3 7 tsaka 1 half pwede natin gamitin yung uh, LCD 3, 7, 1 half Anong LCD ng 7 tsaka 2? Diba 14? 1 half So this is equal to 14 14 divided by 7 is 2 times 3 That's 6 This is 14 divided by 2, 7 times 1, 7 So ano, alin ang mas malaki? Ito, yan 1 half or 3 over 7? 1 half, no? So meaning, mas malaki pa rin ito Okay, lastly, we have uh, four fractions. No? Sabi ko kanina no, sa previous video dun sa cross multiplication, pag marami ng fractions, mahirap na siya i-gawing uh, yung cross multiplication method. No? Kasi uh, we have to pair a lot of fractions. No? So, 3 over... Ano muna yung LCM nitong mga to? So, we have 4... We have 2, we have 8, we have 3. Kagamit naman tayo ng ladder method, no? Para maalala nyo yung uh, inyong napag-aaralan, yung ladder method. So, lagay natin lahat ng denominators. We have 4, we have 2, we have 8, and we have 3. Lagay natin siya sa ladder. And then, magdi-divide tayo ng number na uh, pwede natin i-divide yung mga numbers na to. Mukhang wala, no? Uh, pero we can uh, choose 4, 2, and 8 first. They are all even numbers, so pwede natin silang i-divide by 2. By the way, ang nilalagay lang natin na divisor, palaging, palaging prime number. Palaging prime. So, 2 is a prime. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then, we have 3. Okay, pag hindi ka na pwede mag-divide, 3 divided by 2 ka na pwede. Pag hindi uh, integer yung, yung um, sagot, just bring down the number. No? Second ladder, we have, second step, we have, meron pa kasing 2 and 4, pwede pang i-reduce. So, ana, pwede pa natin ulit i-divide by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 divided by 2, cannot be, so bring down. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then, 3 divided by 2 cannot be, we have 3. Okay? So, ang LCM niyan ay yung product ng mga nandito. 2 times 2 is uh, 4, times 2 is 8, 24. So, 24 ito. Meaning, lahat yan gawin natin. 24 yung denominator. So, 3 fourth. We have uh, 1 half, 3 eighth, tsaka 2 thirds. So, lahat yan magiging 24. 24 divided by 4 is 6 times 3 18. Then, we have 24 divided by 2. That's 12. 12 times 1, that's 12. And then we have 24 divided by 8. 3 times 3, we have 9. And then 24 divided by 3, 8 times 2, 16. So, anong pinakamaliit? Okay, ang pinakamaliit natin ay 9, 16, 12. 9, no? Ito ang pinakamaliit natin. Start mo tayo sa pinakamalaki, 3 fourths. 3 fourth yung pinakamalaki. This number 1. Tapos yung um, susunod sa 18. 16. 2 thirds. Oh, hindi yan. Sorry. This is 2 thirds. And then we have 3 eighths. Ang 3 eighths natin 9. Tapos yung ating 1 half ay 12. So, ito muna. Yung one half muna. This is four. Oh, sorry. This is three. And this is four. Okay? Ano ba nasulat ko dito? Is it two-third? No, this is not two-third. This is the second largest, no? So, we have uh, medyo inaantok na talaga. 
Saan tayo? We have 3 four ang pinakamalaki, tapos 2 third, tapos 1 half, tapos 3 eight, no? So, if we want to use the inequality sign, pwede natin ascending or descending. Kung gusto nyo ascending, ascending simula sa pinakamaliit, uh, ascending. Anong pinakamaliit natin? Number 4, diba? So, 3, 8. Tapos, number 3, 1 half. Tapos, number... Uh, 2, 2 third. And number 1, 3 fourth. So, palaki ito. Palaki. Siyempre, kung paliit yan, babalik tarin mo lang. No? So, descending, we have... 3 fourth. 2 thirds, 1 half, tsaka 3 eighths. No? What else? Uh, of course, you can use the inequality sign. Pag inequality sign, ganun din dapat. Is either naka-ascending siya or naka-descending siya para hindi magulo. No? So, 3 eighths, uh, this is uh, ascending. So, mas less than siya sa 1 half. But 1 half is less than uh, 2 thirds. And 2 thirds is less than 3 fourths. No? So, ito yan, ascending. Ascending. Okay? Tapos pag descending naman, we have, uh, lagyan na rin natin ng arrow. Siyempre, we have, pinakamalaki naman to, no? So, 3 fourth is greater than 2 third, but 2 third is greater than 1 half, and 1 half is greater than 3. No? So, either, either of the two actually tama naman yan, no? Okay, so I think that's it. Uh, I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video na to, no? And uh, yung susunod na video, ang pag-aaral natin is geometric, uh, geometric method, no? Although hindi, masyado, hindi ko masyado nire-recommend yung geometric method, pero tingnan nyo na rin kasi doon matuto kayo mag-estimate, no? Using the number line. Okay, marami salamat. Uh, gusto ko yung invite sa sitnayan.com. Nandiyan yung ating website kung saan na nakalist yung mga videos ng, na sunod-sunod, no? O kaya puntahan nyo rin yung playlist natin sa YouTube kasi nandun din naman yung pagkakasunod sa mga videos. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.